A new social media site boasts that its user base has increased 47% each month for the past year. The number of users on January 1st of last year was 50,000, 50,000. Which expression below gives the total number of new users in thousands that were added through month n of the past year where 1 is less than or equal to n which is less than or equal to 12 and they give some choices of expressions for the total number of new users that were added through month n. And I encourage you to now pause this video and try to think about which of these expressions actually show that that gives that value. Well, to tackle it, I'm going to make a little bit of a table here. So let's say we have month, month, and then we have users, so starting users, so users at the start, and then let's think about the users added. I want to put, give myself some space to work with, and then users at the end of the month, users at the end of the month. So in one month, in, or in month one, which is January, we can assume, We started with 50,000 users. They want us to write the expression in thousands. So we started with 50,000 users, and how many did we add? Well, we added 47% of 50,000. So 50 times 47%. So times 0.47. So how many do we end with? Well, 50 plus 50 times 0.47, that's going to be 50, that's going to be 50 times, I want to do the 50 in green, that's going to be 50 times 1.47, 50 times 1.47. If this isn't clear, just think about this. This you could rewrite as 50 times 1. So 50 times 1 plus 50 times 0.47, that's going to be 50 times 1 plus 0.47, 1 plus, plus 0.47 or 1.47. So it's going to be this thing right over here. So now let's go to month two. Let's go to month two. We start with what we ended the last month. So 50, I could just copy and paste this actually. Let me just do that. So that's what, so copy and paste. So that's what we start with. Now what are we going to add? Well, we're going to add that, this what we started with times 0.47. Times, times 0.47. And so what are we going to end with? Well, if you sum these two, and you could write this as, you could write it this way, this is going to be, This is going to be this thing times, times 1.47, times 1.47, or, or we could just write this as 50 times 1.47 squared. And you might start seeing a pattern now. Let's go to month three. So month three, what do we start the month with? We start the month with this thing. Let me copy and paste this. So copy and paste. We start with that. What do we add? Well, we're going to take that, and we're going to multiply it times 47%. We're going to multiply it times 0.47. And so what are we going to end up with? We're going to have this times 1 plus this times 0.47. That is going to be equal to that, that times times 1.47, 1.47, or we could just write this as 50 times 1.47 to the third power. So what's the pattern here? Well, in each month, we're going to be starting with 50 times 1.47 to a power one less than the month. In the third month, the power here is two. In the second month, the power here is one. In the first month, the power here, you don't see it, but you could view this as times 1.47 to the zero power. So first month, zero power. Second month, first, second month, you have the first power. Third month, you have the second power over here. So if we're thinking about the nth month, if we think about the nth month, this is going to be 50 times 1.47, 1.47 to the n minus one power. n minus one power is what we're going to start the month with. Now what are we going to add in the nth month? Well, it's going to be that times 47%. So it's going to be, let me just copy and paste that. So let me just paste that. So it's going to be that times 47%. So times, times 0.47. 
And then what are we going to end with? Well, when you add these two things, you are going to get you are going to get 50, I'll just do it in the right colors instead of copying and paste it. You're going to get 50 times 1.47 times 1.47 to the nth power. To the nth power. So let's think about how we can come up with the expression for the total number of new users in thousands that were added through through month n. So there's a couple of ways to think about it. You could say, well, how many total new how many total users did we have at the end of month n? Well, at the end of month n we had that many. And then how many did we have at the beginning of the year? Well, we had 50,000. So how many total new users did we add through month n? So we finished with this much. So we finished with actually let me just write it down. So we just let me just So we finished with that much. And let me paste that. So that's what we finished with. And we started with 50,000 users. We started with 50,000 users. So this is essentially how many we added through month n. Now do any of our expressions look like that? Well, no, not quite. If this one had a minus 50 right over here, if that said minus 50, then that would have done the trick. But this doesn't do it. And none of the others really seem to either have this form or seem to be something that would be very easy to manipulate in this form. So that's one way to do it, but that's not one of our choices. So what's another way of thinking about it? Well, we could literally just add how many new users we added month by month. So we literally could just add all of these things right over here. We could literally just add all of these things right over here. And before I, so let's see, we could literally just add all of, all of these terms. But let me simplify it a little bit. So what are some common factors that we see in all of these? Well, we see they all have a 50. They all have a 50, and they all have something being multiplied by 0.47. So let's factor out a 0.47 and a 50. So let's factor that out. So this is going to be equal to, if we were to sum all of this up, it's going to be 0.47 times 50 times 50. And then what's left over? Times, so in the first month, if you factor those two things out, you're going to just left, be left with a 1. In the second month, if you factor out the 50 and the 0.47, you're left with 1.47. In the third month, in the third month, if you factor that and that out, you're left with 1.47 squared. And we're going to go all the way to the nth month. If you factor out that and that, you're left with 1.47 to the n minus 1th power. So which of those expressions look like that? Well, this is exactly. This is exactly this second expression right over here. This is exactly with what we came up with. And we're done.